Scarlet Nation, just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick recap. I'll give you a more full recap later this week. But uh, Rutgers does defeat Northwestern 24-7. to uh, I'm fresh from the game, as you could see. And I'm down at family's house in Manalapan here. But uh, look, uh, good showing for the Scarlet Knights. Uh, Gavin Wimsett, um, 17 of 29 for over 160 yards passing, one touchdown, no interceptions. You can't ask for more from the kid at this point. I thought Gavin looked poised. I thought he stood in the pocket well. I liked his pocket presence a lot, quite frankly. Uh, moving up in the pocket, making a decisive uh, choice there, either throwing it away sometimes, throwing it into some nice tight windows, throwing it other times, I thought, out of reach of the defender, but giving receivers a chance to catch the ball. We had a couple uh, shots there in the end zone where you know guys caught it but couldn't convert because they were out of bounds. Uh, but a, a catch there by by Strong, and you got a, a freshman there from Long Island making a, a serious catch, an acrobatic catch, getting the toe down and scoring. Uh, so I thought Gavin led the offense well. I thought it was a good showing. Defense, you know, what else are you going to ask for? We had the one muff punt at the end that led to some points for Northwestern. If that hadn't happened, I think the defense straight up pitches a shutout in this game. Defense was everything we expected of them, creating turnovers for the secondary. Pass rush was serious. Uh, Coach Ciano said in the presser after that uh, Wes Bailey, you know, wasn't anything real serious, but he's going to be hurting, and because of the short week, we don't know how he's going to be coming back. Um, but I thought the defense was dominant, as you want to see uh, against an opponent like this early in the season. Uh, offense, though, I think really kind of stole the show, especially because leading up to game time, uh, I'm getting ready for the game, and my buddies at the tailgate are telling me, look, word just came out, that two-hour prior you know, injury report just came out, and Sam Brown is questionable, and Aaron Young is out, and you're like, what is going on? Uh, but you get Kyle Manungai, who ran like a man on fire. He's always a disciplined runner. He's always, you know, a strong runner. He's always a determined runner. And I thought he did very well today. Uh, and then Benjamin. You know, you got a freshman out of Florida just running with purpose. Benjamin just running hard between the tackles. Hard. And converting, like, yard after yard, moving the chains. It was very inspiring to see. I did see some speculation, like, what's going on with Shady Salam, Shorty, uh, Shiano said post game that uh, Shorty Salam just got back a few days ago from injury as well. So the running back room was thin. And those out there who were doubting the running back room in any way, I mean, you were wrong. This is a deep room and it proved itself today. You have Salam down, you have Brown down, you have Young down, and yet Benjamin and Manungai, you know, go off and have a good game. Uh, the line, look, this is this is Northwestern. This is not Ohio State. This is not Penn State. No one's out here, you know, being a Pollyanna. But the fact is, you know, this is a conference opponent. This is early in the season. And we didn't just go out there and barely skate by like we did against BC last year. We went out there and decisively dominated our opponent, who is a conference opponent, um, and decisively dominated them on offense and defense. I thought Gavin Wimsett, you know, he's not going to have a game like that every game, guys. There's going to be growing pains. There's going to be turnovers. But I loved his decisiveness. I loved how he was either, first of all, his pocket presence. I loved his pocket presence. There were several times guys had gotten in the backfield. He stepped away from the pressure, stepped up in the pocket. Uh, he kept his eyes downfield. And there were a few times where he, you know, I thought he squeezed the ball in there really nicely to guys. I thought other times he just threw it away, which was great to see. You know, you live to fight another day when there's a busted play, and there was a few where I thought this play's dead, just throw it away, and he did. Other plays, I think he really threw it out of reach of the defender, but within reach of a receiver. So, you know, he's given his receivers a chance to catch the ball, but, you know, if they can't get it, then the defender's not going to get it. And I thought he did really well with that. Uh, you had Strong, Ian Strong from Long Island, another young guy, uh, make an acrobatic catch there. Uh, Back of the end zone would get his toe down. Thought it was a great catch. Two other plays uh, where Gavin, uh, you know, threw the ball up late in the first half. Um, gave guys a chance to come down with the ball. They did come down with the ball. They just happened to be out of bounds. That's the kind of play you want to see out of your quarterback. Uh, he, he used his legs a little bit, and it wasn't even just this open field running. He used his legs a little bit between the tackles, got some tough yards, and I, I think that's important. I'm glad we showed some of that. If nothing else, just for future opponents to have to account for Gavin running the ball, I think when you have to account for the quarterback running, it opens up things for everybody else. So I thought that was a, a good look as well. Um, 
crowd today. Look, the student section was absolutely rocking to start the game. Shiano made a, a comment about that. The crowd itself, like everybody else, I thought was a decent crowd for a noon kickoff. First game of the year on a hot September day, Labor Day weekend. It was a pretty good crowd. But, I mean, in terms of enthusiasm, guys, I, you know, when we had them behind the sticks a couple times on defense and, you know, backed up to their own end and we didn't get loud till third down and only even then a little bit loud, not a lot of RU chants. I couldn't hear anybody singing the fight song, despite the fact that they were playing the fight song in the end zone and the students were trying to sing it. The rest of the stadium was just mum. I don't know if it was Labor Day. I don't know if it was a casual crowd. I don't know if it was just too early for anybody to get hyped up. But man, hopefully the crowd brings itself next week for the night game and hopefully, you know, it gets a little crazier out there because the crowd seemed a little docile to me. That's all I'm going to say. People showed up. I'm just saying it seemed a little docile. That's just my read on it. Um... Shout out to my boy Ryan, who came from Pennsylvania, uh, Penn State territory, and chilled at the tailgate today. That was fun. The tailgate scene was good. I'll be, I'll be, I'll tell you, for our early September game, because it was a conference game, there was a decent showing at the tailgate and in the stadium as, as far as fans, and it was nice to see. Um, but look, you knew the defense was going to be good, and the defense showed how good it could be today. But to see the offense. Not necessarily do anything, you know, extraordinary or, you know, out of this world. But to see the offense move the chains. You know, early on, there were some fourth downs where you could tell that the coaching staff was confident. They were confident in going forward on fourth down. Not because they were in a gambling mode. Not because they were playing crazy and loose. But because the plays were there. They knew they had the play to call. The momentum was on our side. And the trenches were on our side. And we were able to call those plays and I think it was great to see um is does that mean that the season outlook drastically changes I don't necessarily think so you guys saw my predictions I did have this one as a win there's a lot to clean up there's a lot to you know a lot of question marks with other opponents that are going to come up this season but overall I thought it really was an encouraging game there's no other way to slice it I mean you thought we would win this game and most people who picked us to win this game still thought that it would be a relatively close game right this game was a dominating game, and this was a conference opponent. When you dominate a conference opponent, I don't care what caliber of a team they are. I don't care what they've just recently been through. It it shows something. You know, it really, really does. So, um, you know, I thought it was very, very encouraging, um, and it was great to see. We're on to Temple now, and, uh, you know, it's a big game. It's a night game. We barely got out of Philly last year against Temple, and we got a, you know, refocus recalibrate and take care of business um, but if we can get some of these running backs back healthy you know or like I said we have a deep room get some of these guys back healthy Gavin keeps playing the way that Gavin is playing uh, or we saw him play today and we get the receivers a little bit more involved I think Kirk Soraka man was probably a really good hire because you know you could there wasn't any splash there wasn't anything insanely innovative that you saw but what you saw was a an offense that was balanced, that play calls came in efficiently, where guys were playing discipline, not a lot of penalties, and where the play calls really made sense for the situation. And when the play calls made sense for the situation, um, you know, the chains kept moving and we kept the momentum on our side and we kept gaining a couple yards a, a play and it really benefited us. So... Love it, guys. If you haven't done so yet, this is a brand new Rutgers channel. I'm Larry Crane. I wrote for On the Banks. I'm still writing a little bit, but I'm launching this thing now. I want to get more Rutgers content out there. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe. Takes a second. Just hit that subscribe button right there. Let's get over 200 subscribers just to start. Hit subscribe. Click like. Share the video with your friends. I'll be back soon with a bit of a deeper dive and previewing the next game. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend. A great way to, to kind of have a Labor Day weekend. I couldn't say start or finish it because it's dead in the middle of this game. But a great uh, Labor Day weekend when Rutgers wins. I'll talk to you guys soon. Click subscribe. Go Knights. Later.